Yo, what's going on fish keepers? It's LG Fish Keeping and in today's video I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California and why it's such a great place to visit and why it's such a fun experience for the whole family and for anyone interested in seeing fish and wildlife of our native Pacific Ocean. And here's a couple facts and some fun things. Let's get right into the video. The Pacific is the place to go for a close-up look at the wildlife of the Pacific Coast. Boasting more than 11,000 exhibits, a day at the aquarium holds much to see. The most popular exhibits are the Shark Lagoon, which houses over 150 sharks and rays, and the Lorikeet Forest, which they are always hungry, <laughs> uh, which is a walk-through aviary where visitors can even feed the colorful, colorful birds. Thrills can also be had by grazing the smooth skin of live yet docile sharks in the touch pools. Aquarium admissions can also be combined with other outdoor tours such as the dolphin and whale watching boat cruise. Very interesting and very fun for the whole family. Pacific is the fourth largest aquarium in the nation, with the most diverse population of visitors each year. Taking as its focus the planet's largest body of water, this intriguing facility addresses the range of the Pacific Basin. It divides the ocean into the Southern California Baja region, the Northern Pacific, and the Tropical Pacific, exhibiting in detail each one's residence and terrain. The aquarium also highlights sharks, shorebirds, and lorikeets, a brightly colored family of Australian parrots in, re in replicas of their na native habitats. Other special exhibits explore topics like whales and deep sea ocean inhabitants. So, the Aquarium of the Pacific basically is one of my favorite aquariums as I am an education volunteer there. I like to spend my time of really focusing on all of the great aspects of the aquarium. Um, I'm very active in the aquarium and I'm very um, uh, good at doing public speaking and I love to do public speaking for the Shark Lagoon feedings uh, and for basically everything. So, if you guys are interested in coming to the aquarium, I will be there on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, for my shifts in education, you'll catch me at the Shark Lagoon, you'll catch me at the Northern Pacific, and at our uh, new exhibit, which is an insight onto what our population will look like in a couple years, and what the oceans will be like in the future, and what we can do to prevent uh, the dying of our uh, ecosystems and to benefit our marine life in the oceans and to sustain uh, food sources such as uh, cod and uh, fishing for yellowfin tuna and for just a bunch of great variety of uh, natural food that we can get from our oceans. Look at these baby seahorses. Yes! Yeah. Some of the coolest exhibits that you can that are featured at the aquarium include some of the sea lions and some uh, harbor seals that are really native to the coast. And uh, one of my personal favorite exhibits include the uh, sturgeon. We have an Atlantic sturgeon, a white sturgeon, um, and it's in one of our touch pools. You can actually pet it, and it's really peaceful and really interactive. Uh, female sturgeons are actually harvested for caviar, therefore aquariums can't host a female sturgeon because people will be very t t t tempted to steal them um, since they can be harvested for caviar which is a lot of money. Also a new thing that we got is horseshoe crabs where you can see the blue blood which is used for viruses and for treatment in medical facilities and it's really expensive. It's almost $6,000 for just a little bit of the uh, blue blood in uh, horseshoe crabs uh, and you get to touch them, you get to see what the bottom of them looks like and they're almost prehistoric creatures. So I definitely recommend you guys checking out some of those exhibits because those are my favorite and I also definitely recommend you guys checking out some of the tropical reefs that they have there in the tropical reef areas um, including uh, some of the puffer fish and a great variety of tangs and just awesome fish in there so yeah check those out for sure when you guys are there and let me know what you guys think of them
right, so I'm going to do a little bit of a collage of what I've seen in the past at the aquarium. And I'm going to ask you guys to stay along with me and to watch some of the fish that I got and some of the things I captured while I was at the aquarium. And it's a little example of what you guys can see when you guys go there. Um, and I'd love for you guys to take some pictures and to send it to me. Uh, you can ch check it out on my website. Um, my website has my email address and my phone number, or so you could text it to me, or you can email me any of the images you got when you were at the aquarium, and really just let me know. And I'd love to talk about it because I love the aquarium and I love everything that's going on in the aquarium of the Pacific. So just let me know. I highly encourage you guys to come check out the aquarium. Not only does it offer a variety of bunch of colorful fishes and a variety of ecosystems and habitats that these fish live in, but it also provides you guys with a great experience and a great acknowledgement of what is in our ecosystems and what we can do to help these animals and what we can do to help them survive and thrive in these ecosystems. It's such a great experience and I've also had so much fun volunteering there and getting to see all of the ecosystems and all the life there. Um, I definitely would recommend going to the aquarium and checking it out uh, and just let me know what you guys think about the aquarium in the Pacific. I will be doing a video coming up soon on what I think of what the aquarium is like and a bunch of cool exhibits that I see at the aquarium and some of my favorite fish there. Uh, if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate for you guys to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and just let me know what you guys think about it and to share the video with friends because I'm going to continue to be making videos and continuing to let you guys know about fun things I'm doing and anything interesting that you guys want to see just let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. It's LG Fish Keeping and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.